Retro Unboxing. Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. My name's Jonathan and thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna to have a look at a phone that I've never owned and this mobile is, it's a phone that I always coveted when it was out originally, back in 2007. And it's the Blackberry Pearl, uh, specifically the 8120 uh, Blackberry Pearl. And um, it was one of those phones that a lot of colleagues had, managers had that kind of thing. And I was a, a young whippersnapper and I always had a grotty old Nokia or whatever. Um, so when I decided to do this series of videos, it was it was always gonna be on phones that I'd had in the past that I really liked and kind of wanted to see again. Um, but then there was also a few uh, that, as I say, I'd never had and, and wanted to have a look at. So I picked this up off eBay for ooh, 80, 80 quid. When I bought it, it was supposed to be brand new and sealed. And as you can see, there is, there is a seal on it, but it looks like it's been, I don't know whether it's a refurb or whatever. So we'll see when we get into it uh, as to whether the contents are brand new. Maybe it was probably sold as a, a refurb uh, back in the day or whatever, but this phone's from 2007. And um, and as I say, I'm, I'm quite looking to looking forward to having a look at it and seeing what it can do. So um, straight on to the unboxing. Okay, let's get this thing unboxed. So as I mentioned, I've uh, I've never actually owned a BlackBerry. I've, I've barely even ever touched a, a BlackBerry to be honest. So this is an honour and a privilege. Um, no, it's not really. So let's get this seal broken. And let's have a look what's in here. So, there's the handset. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think this is, I don't think this is brand new. I think this is just kind of one of those uh, network refurbs. <laughs> First thing I want to have a look at is this little leather pouch thing. You have to buy these now. You never get one with a phone, but I, uh, I can remember all the knobheads that used to have these phones back in the day. You used to, <laughs> used to use these. Uh, we've got headphones with a normal headphone jack. Quite nice quality. And we've got a USB charger. We've got the wall charger. Oh, the battery's in there. Various options for wall charging. Put all that over there. That was from in there, wasn't it? And we've got a user tools CD and some instruction manuals all pretty kind of standard standard stuff for a smartphone lovely is any I don't think any of this is actually in English well that's Spanish so all of the Documentation is in Spanish. Excellent. That is absolutely of no use to me whatsoever. But anyway, I'm not really bothered about that. As long as the phone operates in English, I'll be all right. So let's have a closer look at the Blackberry Pearl. Still got all the protective screen stuff on, so we'll get that off very satisfying and same on the back beautiful uh, okay so we've got a sim card slot surprisingly I don't see a micro SD D slot. Ah, okay. Well, that's good. You can put your 
SD card in there, and it's got an SD card in it. It's got a one gigabyte SD card. That's huge. Wow, a one gigabyte SD card. Fantastic. So on the side we've got the USB port for charging. Now what I don't know at this point actually is if there's going to be any charge in this battery and uh, I might have to just pause the video and uh, come back to it when it's got some charge in it. Um, but I can see on the back there it's got a camera which is a, a 2 megapixel camera. Uh, it's got a proper headphone jack. Uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of on off button. Obviously I can't read the instructions so I couldn't say. Disappointingly, for what I thought was a bit more of a premium phone, this material on the side here is this material on the side here is plastic. Um, that's disappointing. But I always I always liked the little roller ball. Okay. We've got a little red indicator light there, so whether that means that the battery is dead, I don't know. We'll see. Well, it's turning on. This is an orange branded phone and I've put an O2 SIM card in, so I'm not entirely sure whether that's going to work. I'm not sure if this is how long these things are supposed to take, but it seems to be taking a while. And while it's doing its thing, just have a look at the ports on the side. You've got a normal headphone jack there. You've got a uh, an older USB port there for connecting to your computer and probably the charger. Uh, as I've just found out, you've got a micro SD card slot there, which uh, is, is great. A little button there on the side, which I don't know what is for as yet. I'll look into that. Uh, and then on this side uh, we've got again another button and then a volume a volume rocker um, Disappointingly, this is all plastic. Um, I was genuinely I was hoping that uh, this would be some sort of metal, but um, it isn't uh, I did notice that the Phone seems to have woke up now, so we'll run the setup wizard Definitely want English and we definitely want United Kingdom. Oh, that's good. Date and time, correct, yes. Wow, so we're there. We're at the home screen. This is all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get to the home screen so I could have a look at this thing. All right, so let's have a look at the camera. That doesn't look bad at all. Camera looks pretty nice actually. I'll take some photos with it and then I'll, I'll upload those into the video, but it's it's reasonably sharp, it's not a particularly uh, great resolution. I think it's two megabyte, uh, two megapixels, but that doesn't look bad. Nice. Back. Don't know if you can do videos with this. I will explore the options and 
Hmm. Hello, viewers. Welcome to my unboxing and review of the BlackBerry Pearl 8210. Um, just testing the uh, the camera now, just to see what the quality of the uh, the camera and the microphone are like. Dress book calendar. Have a look at the calendar. Oh, it's a calendar. Cool. Browser. Will it go online? Mm, have a look. Google. New game. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. This is pretty cool. We've got no sound though. I assume it's supposed to have some sound. I've got to say, of, of all of these uh, older phones, I know this is 2007, but the screen is a massive jump compared to, uh, say, the Motorola V3 from uh, a couple of years before. It's, it's really... Uh, it's really good. I can see why this was a, a popular phone back in 2007. Done. Yeah. Right then, guys. So I've had a bit more of a play around with this phone now. I, uh, I've done it off camera because it's taken me ages to kind of get my head around this uh, operating system. Um, so the first thing I've done, I've, I've managed to change the profile to something that I think is more certainly more recognisable. Uh, it certainly works better for me um, and the the thing is now just feels a bit more usable um, so I mean I, I don't need the setup wizard app anymore uh, so we're going to hide that uh, I'm not going to be using any messages but I'll, I'll leave that there um, Blackberry Messenger BBM I, I remember being popular uh, amongst the cool kids back in the day um, but what I wanted to do was have a look at what ringtones are on this phone, and I'm now pleased that um, that actually there's a there's a, a separate shortcut for the video camera and for the uh, for the photo camera, so that's good. Uh, I'm I'm a bit happier with the phone now. Um, so I'm just going to have a look at some ringtones, and then um, and then I'll take a few photos and a few videos. And I'll add those into this and uh, you can have a look. So you can find the ringtones here. I don't think any of them are that good to be honest. I've had a quick a quick listen through a couple, but here you go, see what you think. That's antelope. I'll turn that down a bit now. Jesus. Well, that's pleasant. Recognise that.
Bonjour. Oh, thank God, that's more like it. Looks like that's the end of it. So it does it does seem a lot more usable with this uh, with this skin. Um, so that's pretty good. I honestly don't think I'd I'd uh, want to use one of these phones. I must admit uh, it's uh, it's a little bit a little bit plasticky. Um, the the port covers are all plasticky. I mean there are plenty of shortcut buttons, but all that does is send you to voice dial I've noticed as I've been playing with it a little bit more that it seems to hang quite a bit there seems to be quite a few uh, little software glitches uh, that's pretty good in that it's got a shortcut for the camera but the camera seems to glitch a little bit it just seems to take a while saving uh, it seems to take a while saving sometimes and then it it won't go back to the home screen as I've been I've had a bit of a play around with it, uh, along with the uh, the ringtones and all the other stuff that I've found. I managed to find that it uh, it has Wi-Fi, uh, which is great, um, and I'm sure that's what made it such a, a big uh, popular phone with business people, uh, was because it's got Wi-Fi, so I've actually managed to connect it to the home Wi-Fi network. Uh, I don't seem to be able to do much online anyway, but um, I'll keep... I'll keep playing with it. I might just add to it later on. But uh, yeah, Wi-Fi 2007 on a mobile phone. It's pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of people have got a lot of fond memories of it. I'm going to have a bit of a play with the camera now and, um, and add those in. All right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye now. Retro Unboxing.